Hi everyone. Thank you for watching this video. This is Ju from Soju Cars. Today I have the 2021 Shang'an CS95 2.0 automatic transmission. And this car costs 2,178,000 pesos SRP. This is a full-size crossover and it has six-speed automatic transmission. For its performance, this is a front-wheel drive that can do 228 horsepower at 5,000 RPM and 360 newton meters of torque at 1750 rpm if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do consider subscribing and please do leave comments in the comment section below thank you so much let us start with the exterior for the exterior we have led lights they are led projector lights that are called full led technology and also it says cs design and i must admit they look very nice when they are actually on and when they are not on you are greeted by very nice daytime running light on both sides it really gives that cool accent and this car has this huge shangan logo and we have all silver or brushed aluminum plus chrome combinations in this horizontal type of grill language and we have a front camera which is always amazing to have we also have four sensors and we still need to check if this radar really works let me show you uh, the lower lip and the underside there you go so this car is an SUV looking crossover so please do let me know in the comment section below what do you think is this a crossover or an SUV this car is the first seven-seater that Shangan brand has brought to the shores of the Philippines in the hood you can find two fake vents for that extra sporty looking design and when we look from the side we have nice sporty looking wheels these are two-tone wheels the sizes are 245 55 r19s and they are yokohama tires and thank you for subscribing guys and then we have this braking system this is a ventilated one and this is the wheel well very well done with the plastic and when we come to the right we have a fake vent again with the t accent turbo this is a 2.0 liter gasoline engine that is turbocharged for the side mirror we have glittery black finished and we have led repeaters we have the 360 camera and we also have a small puddle lamp right here this is power folding power adjusting and even heated as we move on we have black floating type of roof line with gray finished roof rail and we also have chrome accent right there also there's a crease that goes all the way there and this one actually has silver and we also have the sensor for the keyless system on the side we have silver again and there's actually black under as well and this is what it looks like here in the underside of the cs95 very nice blacked out a pillars and this car actually has a very nice pearl white color here in the rear we have the same size for the two-tone wheel and we have solid braking system here and here's the wheel well and the gas cap is on the left side the mirror seems to be a uh, big size and it will really help the visibility for the third row people and here in the rear we have the spoiler top mount brake light we have a shark fin antenna defroster windshield wiper and what can you tell about this one does it remind you of any car for me it reminds me of a kia sportage not just kia sportage but the kia sportage gt then it says shang'an it's a cs95 with the 360 torque that's cool we also have a camera 
So in this car, it didn't make full wrap around the rear because we have the Shangan logo in the middle. Then we have four sensors at the back. We have two fake exhausts. And here under, this is how it looks like. And to our surprise, it has dual mufflers, but on the same area. Okay, it's not fake. It's just that they are not shot here. Then we have also reflectors. And this is how it looks like. Hello, doggy. Annyeong. When you turn off your engine, it goes like that. Then when you lock the door, it goes like that. You can also remote start your car. Double click. Yes, it's a quick double click. So your aircon will be on before you even get inside the car. Hold on to the unlock button and everything that this car can open will open look at this except for the tailgate of course but for you to lock them all hold on to it then everything will close if you hold on to it just hold on to it there you go that's really cool <laughs> now let us bring you to the interior the door panel has leather with stitching and brushed aluminum with aluminum looking materials and you also get heated and ventilated. It's really nice because it's not only the heated, you also get the ventilated. And this is not just the ventilated, it is also cooled. All right, it's very nice feature that you would like to have in your cars. And this is the side mirror adjustment, which is a bit weird because it's not in the usual spot that we find it's either supposed to be there or here so you need to adjust yourself learning how to use that so this leather is actually very soft and very nice this is the glossy area with the buttons with chrome wrap around there you go then the cubby hole here and your speaker right there it says shang'an here in the step seal then there you go the body color and we have power seats but uh, it's, it doesn't support lumbar support, okay? And we have more features here, lighting and traction, downhill assist, the trunk and the gas cap. So let me bring you inside. This is the dashboard of the Shang'an CS95. The CS95 has a very luxurious interior. It has a very nice leather wrapped steering wheel with flat bottom, gloss materials and brushed aluminum finish. So the really unique thing about Chang'an is that their logos on the steering wheel is always small size. All right. And we have cruise control here, voice command and audio controls, hands free controls, volume and the airbag, of course, as you can see, the front dash it's also wrapped in soft leather. Here it is uh, plastic or hard plastic, but you still get those stitching anyway. You also get another speaker here in the APLR. You also get a center speaker. That's very cool. This car has a similar interior like the CS75, except it's in black accent. All right. And this air vent actually just goes together like that which is a very nice uh, seamless design and brushed aluminum there the stitching is everywhere it also says cs 75 right there so you also get ventilated seats and heated seats on the passenger side that's very nice don't get a grab handle here you have a grab handle grab handle grab handle this car has two digital screens here and there. Now this one is supposed to be here, but this one got bigger. Usually you'll find this one here because this is a 10.25 inch and this is a 12.3 inch, which is the biggest one I have seen so far, unless I'm in those premium British cars. That's so amazing. 
It's so big, my goodness. Look at this. You can just go to your vehicle settings and you can also do a lot of things in this car. Lighting setting. There, the ambient light. Wow, where do you find the ambient light here? Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't have guessed, but you have ambient lighting all over the dash. So meter voice. That's the welcome voice. I heard that sound from a Korean car. Wow. They all sound different. Message tip voice one. Warning. I have heard these sounds in some other brands. Oh my goodness. I cannot say I haven't. So you also have map. Do we have map here? Oh, you have the Chinese type. All right, this one needs some update. These are all in Chinese. Neon music player, the air condition. This car must have Android Auto. I'm almost sure of it. Personalized. Oh yeah, you can also control this wallpaper and also this one. Also the theme first, theme theme all right let's see here first let's go okay here first okay sport and you can also be young and then this one is the really cool thing let me show you okay I'll go to classic there's the loading it's gonna explode any minute now boom this is the classic one so there you go you see the quality of the screen is actually amazing and then Going to sport mode, loading, and then boom. You see that? You see the RPM? You see the waves there? That's amazing. And you can also do the young that you can see in other Shangan models. So which one do you like best? Me personally, I like the sport. And we can also have wallpaper. Oh, you can have different wallpaper for this application. There you go. Now everything's gonna change to red. That's really cool. You can actually pull it down like that. But sometimes it just uh, works when I don't need it. So audio, you can also have this 3D. Cool. Center area, we have very nice, very big, very easy to maneuver air vents. And you also have individual lock and open dial here. You also have your hazard button right there. We also have this one. We have actual physical dials that look really, really cool in this finish. They look very, very luxurious they are you can also have auto mode you can also have this dials actually feels really really good that's really really cool you can also have dual climate zone control and you can also control the rear from the front so when you press this one it turns on but when you enter air conditioner you can actually control the front and the rear so on then also here on you can do everything here this is really really cool also the volume is actually here i was actually looking for this and then you also have a home button there and a power button so when you power it off let's see what happens there it shows an analog clock that's cool <laughs> what else do we have here since we can also close this wow you can also open and close this one. So you have a cubby hole here, USB port and a 12 volt right there. But we don't see the wireless charging right here. Here's our shift knob. This is a six speed automatic transmission with manual mode and sport mode. And this car also comes with electronic parking and auto hold function with echo, snow, sport mode. You also have a normal mode. So it has four modes in total. And here, how do we open this one? Okay, you can just pull it like that. So 
So this one is operated by the magnet here. And there's a ton of space right here. It's very deep. And you can also put your SD card for that media. All right. And you can also put some stuff there. Huge, huge space in the footwell. And here's a glove box. There you go. The glove box is good enough. And this car has mirror and the light here. Okay. We also have mirror and the light here. We also have the sunglass, LED map lights, and SOS button for China. And we have auto dimming. Auto dimming room mirror, which is amazing. Panoramic sunroof. So the glass is actually tinted. That's very good to see. There's a panoramic sunroof there. You can see the sky really, really well. You can also open the panoramic sunroof like that. And you can see the world. That's cool. We can close that. You can also close it at the same time. So let me bring you guys to the back. The door panel, leather also, and the speakers here also. Wow, that looks cool. Brushed aluminum, more silver, more leather, very soft, with glossy black finish, cubby hole, bottle hole, bottle holder, another speaker, and you also have a manual second row seat. There you go, they look very, very comfortable. Let's go inside. Wow. Look at the room. Look at the leg room here. The leg room is amazing. The visibility is also amazing. There are pouches there. And we have air condition control, which is so cool. There you go. You can also have it in leg uh, foot mode. Very nicely done. You also have something here, cubby hole. You also have a USB charge port. There's only one. Wow. This car looks amazing. You also have your own LED lights and you have your air vents right here, which kind of looks cheap. There you go. So you don't have the air vents here. You have the air vents right there on the side. SRS airbag, side airbag. You also have airbag for the third row and the second row. And the seats are very comfortable and you have cup holders here. You also have a compartment right here. It looks like the one you see from Sangyong cars. Then you have nice headrests right there. Wow. And you have zero. You have zero center hump. That's very nice. And this car can also move forward so that you can have more space for the third row, which is actually folded. And look how much I can adjust this much. And I still have a good leg or knee space. It's very cool. And I like these cars that are soft here at the back because even though I touch it, it I still feel comfortable. Let's check out the third row. I was trying to go to the third row. It wasn't the easiest one. It's not the one step. You pull this and then you also need to do it from the bottom. So let's enter. I can actually adjust the seats by pulling this oh the recline is actually really really comfortable the seats are very very comfy very soft very well perforated and you have something here so you can these are like tie downs oh this area is actually leather as well that's nice and you have your air vent right here also there on both sides that's really cool i like this one attention to detail another cup holder then you have a top tether and you can also control oh so i was wrong you can actually enter the third row from the right side not from the left because when you're going to come from the left that's the only space you get but if you're coming from the right that's how much space you get and this is one touch all right oh you can also use this one okay that's cool come back so the third row space is actually not bad it's best to enter the car from the right side just pull this and then 
If you pull that, it will go this way. For you to make it one step, this is the easiest way, okay? And then it goes automatic. Then I can enter really well, easily, like this. And I can also control it, but I cannot actually pull it. Okay, that's a bit interesting. So yeah, you can enter this way, but it's not the easiest way to do it because it's probably me, I don't know how to do it. So let me show you the trunk. For you to open the trunk, you could just have to press that button. Then it opens up like that. It's a powered lift gate. If you want more cargo space, just pull this and make it fold like that. This one also. I like how it is soft and nice like that. Then you have a good cargo space. And then you also have 12 volt right here, some cubby holes. There are tie downs, you can put your tonneau. And here you have your tools and jack and your CS95 plate. Okay, for you to escape this one, for you to close it, just press the button. And uh, that's it. Now let me bring you inside when I'm driving the car so you can actually have more insights. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more and please do contact Shang'an Manila Bay if you want to test this unit out. Shang'an CS95. What do I feel when I'm driving this? I feel that it's a spacious car which looks like a spaceship also here in the interior. Steering, you feel planted. You don't feel completely separated from the vehicle itself. And the screen, I just cannot stop staring at the screen. The waves are also red. Really amazing. Comfort. Still, this car has Macpherson for the front and Multilink for the rear. And the suspension is actually very nice. It's very comfy. This car has very nice leather seats that also has heated seats and cooled seats. We're actually just cruising at 46 if I floor it. This six-speed automatic transmission can just pull this car very easily very fast so it just pulls linearly you see the rpm it went up to 6000 so this car is linear do the turn and i can actually see the screen and actually i can move like that the blind spot monitoring which is really really amazing and it turns off after 30. Well if you floor it like over 3000 rpm you can actually hear the engine kind of shouting and that girth but if you're just cruising around below 2000 area it's really really quiet car. Visibility is amazing including the top you have a very nice panoramic sunroof the glass is actually tinted. Even with the cover open, you still don't feel that much heat. My butt feels extremely, extremely good. So this car's acceleration is very good. Ventilated disc brake system while the rear has solid disc brake system. It also works perfectly. And this car really, really has a good, good interior. It's really, really soft and nice. I like that this car also has auto hold function, which is very cool. There you go, auto hold. And you also have driving modes. So how does the driving mode work? So when you press it, snow, normal, echo, sport. It doesn't have the best insulation for the noise coming from outside, but it's not the worst. Vibration. Actually, there are some vibrations for this car. So this car needs improvement here and there, like I also found in the exterior and also actually I can hear some vibration from something actually there in the grab handle. But the car is actually not so bad, but it's not perfect. This car has lane keep assist warning, so it doesn't really steer the handle for you but it does turn red when you do step on the lines so what is my take overall for this vehicle this vehicle cost 2 million 
178,000 pesos. It could be a bit of challenging for a Chinese brand to have a car that's over 2 million because the cars we've been uh, seeing are like uh, very near the 1 million peso mark. So what do you think guys? Do you think this car can actually survive the competition? Please do tell me in the comment section below. This car is actually loaded but it's over 2 million so um, it's not a big surprise that it's loaded but it is loaded nevertheless. So with this price point, you can actually buy cars like Fortuner, Montero, Terra. There are lots of options for you if you want a car with seven seats in this price point. So what do you think guys? Would you buy this? Please do let me know in the comment section below. Please don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe. What's the verdict? There are plenty of other cars that you can buy with this price point. What is your take on this? For me personally, uh, I would buy other cars that is actually priced in this price point. This car might not be everyone's cup of tea, but if you're a fan of good interior, this is it. A special, a unique exterior, this is it. If you're a fan of panoramic sunroof, this is it. If you're a fan of digital display, this is it. So thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And also please do contact the person in the description section below if you want to test it out or buy this one. All right. May your dreams come true, everyone. And please be safe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So look how much I can assist. All right. And huge, huge space in the wheel well.